Hey, what is up? Um, this is Sawyer, and I'm showing off my project, uh, Windows 90X. Um, Windows 90X is basically um, Windows 98, except everything looks like uh, everything's AI generated. Um, this is a web application, and I've skinned everything to look like Windows. Um, so yeah, the, basically to start, you just go in, uh, go to your famous Windows Run dialog, and I can just ask for an application. Um, so let's go ahead and ask for mine. Sweeper. Let's start out with something kind of easy. Close the welcome screen here. And we should start to see it sort of stream in here for us as it generates. Um, you'll also see we sort of have an icon generate uh, using stable diffusion. I don't know how I feel about this mine sweeper uh, one. Oh, and it looks like we have generated mine sweeper. And let's see if it works. Okay, so we have one near us, one, it's gonna be like maybe right here. One, it's gotta be right there. Oh no, I found it. Okay, we found the bomb. So uh, there's functioning Minesweeper, um, but maybe we don't really like how it looks. Um, we can go and uh, maybe talk to the developer and ask it to make a quick change here. Um, so let's say uh, make it look cyberpunk. And we'll send this. Um, and it'll take a while to load in. Um, basically, we're prompting Claude here, um, and it will basically edit our uh, <laughs> our generated program and then uh, sort of make a change. So maybe while we're doing this, let's generate another program. Um, and I'm just going to generate. Um, let's do a classic. We'll do Notepad. While we're making changes to Minesweeper over here, uh, Notepad seamless to create. Um, oh, and sweet, now we have our cyberpunk minesweeper as well. I wonder what the bomb looks like. A oh, bomb looks the same, but you know, it's a little bit more cyberpunk. Um, so the thing that's interesting about Windows 90X is actually that all of these things that are generated live on the file system. Um, and so the, there's actually a whole fake file system here. So if we go in and go to Notepad, we can actually open programs. So let's go over, uh, we have a little explorer window here and we can actually go up maybe, let's go to Minesweeper and let's actually just look at the generated code for it. And we can probably, this, <laughs> there's a lot of code here. Uh, we can actually maybe game container, maybe let's make, this must be the black color. Let's see if we can maybe just change the color of this to white. We can should be able to save, edit, edit the file and you'll see it actually the program can be like live reloaded and changed on the fly um, yeah so this is just a quick little overview of Windows 90x um, yeah there's uh, maybe some other things we can do as well um, uh, so you basically have this these applications are prompted with an entire fake operating system API so they can read, write files. Um, they can even prompt other LLMs. So maybe we can go in here and let's say we want to add, make um, a chat application with an AI. Um, so this will make a chat GPT sort of thing, most likely. Chatterbox 2000, great name. And uh, how are you doing? We should be able to send this. And so, uh, <laughs> we can uh, chat with an AI assistant. Um, what is, uh, what color is the sky? I should say it's blue or something. Just like, and it must have set the system prompt here to the uh, kind of 90s theme. So we can actually go in, we just go in and actually open up Chatterbox and look at the code for it in Notepad. Uh, and we'll see if I add, insert a script here. Yeah. Is user, it should be calling, oh, chat. So it's calling the global chat function. You're a helpful AI assistant in a Windows 90X chat application. Keep your responses excited and relevant to the 90s era. So the system prompt here is actually um, making sure that it's 90s themed, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, this was just like me scratching the surface really quickly of what you can do with Windows 90X. Um, I've done some maybe more insane things. Um, I've made it run Doom from a ROM. 
Um, I've made it, yeah. Uh, what else have I done? I, I've, I've uh, created an interactive SQL prompter, so you can actually run SQL-like queries, and actually write natural language and get SQL queries out to run them. Um, yeah, so I hope this was fun. Yeah, this is Windows 90X. Uh, yeah, peace.